Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, 7.03 in the morning. We are in Ojai, California. It's really cold. It's 50 degrees exactly. So we're out here spotting cars. We're just looking off the sides. We have some set on our GPS that we're driving to right now. We're about a mile away, but we see something down there. And I'm not sure if that's on our radar or not. I don't believe it is. There's some type of RV or car out there. I'm not sure if you can see it with the GoPro, but we're gonna go over there right now and see if we could get closer. Stay with me, guys. It's really cold. All right, guys. Whew, it's freezing out here. We're behind this guardrail. And we see the vehicle down there. I'm like shivering, it's so cold. It's some type of truck or something, I don't know. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to what we have set on our navigation. Cause we already spotted this one, we'll save this one for last. <sighs> Let's get going. We're about one mile away from I have a destination set on my GPS where there's supposedly three to four to five cars. And I'm freezing. <laughs> Alright guys, now it's 54 degrees and we came to our destination point. We found the location and uh, you could tell they recently repaired this whole area. It's all new guardrail. Looks like it was just freshly done. Probably in the past, there possibly, maybe there wasn't even a guardrail here. That's why they probably put all this in. It looks like freshly done like this, did it this year. But uh, you can see how steep this is. You can't even walk up or down this. This is just crazy steep. But I see cars out there, I see I see two, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm not even geared up yet, I'm just wearing my regular street clothes, but I think what I'm going to do is uh, gear up and bring the rope, maybe even try to walk down that right there, there's a hump right there, see that hump? So I'm going to walk to that dirt road, walk down that hope hump with my hiking pole, and then try to wiggle down into there. I don't think I'm even going to bring my rope. I'll bring it with me in my backpack just in case uh, it looks too steep. We'll use an anchor point and go down. But there's actually more than one car down there. There's some cars down there. There's two I see for sure in there. There's something else down there. Once we get down there, we'll be able to tell for sure what's really going on. But uh, it's really cold, but once I start moving, I'll warm up. Let me go put my permethrin clothing on. Everything I'm going to be wearing today is going to be sprayed in permethrin because <clears throat> this area is infested with ticks. Stay with me guys, let's go put our suit on. Look how dangerous this canyon is. This is just all crumbling rock right here. We don't know where this canyon actually leads. Um, I can look at my GPS when I get back to um, service. But we're thinking there's probably a lot of cars in this whole canyon. Stay tuned guys. I'm gonna put my suit on. My permethrin sprayed suit. Stay with me. Got your stick. Yep. All right, guys, we're fully equipped. Gloves, walkie-talkie, hiking pole, climbing rope, the whole nine yards. Let's go. Hey, dude, you gotta be careful, man, because I just walk in this ridge line right now. It looks real steep, dude. Ten four. I mean, use extreme caution when you're going down that steep, steep, 
steep hill, dude. 10-4, I think I'm going to find a different way because uh, I don't like the looks of this either. I think I'm going to go a different way. Alright, just be careful. 10-4. We're talking about this, guys. This whole area is just too wicked. <clears throat> We're going to find a different way, like I said earlier. I think there's a way down over here. Guys, I say this in all my videos, but you forget something in every video. And today I forgot my belt. So my pants are falling around my waist right now. I've taken notes. I've done everything. You're going to forget something every video. There's just so much to remember. I got a long sleeve on now, a really thick one, Carhartt, and I have a really thick hooded sweatshirt on. Alright guys, when I find an easier point, I'll let you guys know. Alright guys, this is perfect. Check this out. I walked around this curve and this bend. Wow, check it out. Here's sunrise right here. Coming up over the mountain. 7.40 a.m. in the morning. Anyways. I came around this bend and look how gradual this is going down here. So let's go down part of it and see where it ends up. I don't know if I should tie a rope off on top before I do this. It looks pretty decent. If we get if we go deeper down and it looks a lot steeper, we'll use a rope. But for now we're just gonna go ropeless, I guess. Can you hear me? Is that the best route you could go? Yeah, I've been uh, eyeballing it. I think this is the best way. Okay, well, it looks real steep there. Actually, I think this way looks a lot easier. Yeah, I'm going to try this way for a while. Can you hear me or not? Yeah, I can hear you, 10 four. Stay with me, guys. I'm going to turn the radio uh, this off for a minute so we save battery life. <clears throat> you could tell some type of animal travels this hillside. I'm not sure what it is, but something does. What's it looking like? Uh, so far, it's manageable. Guys, this is getting steeper <laughs> the farther I go, but I'm almost there. Just gonna walk through here. <clears throat> Guys, look, we were just up there. That's where we started. You see that? All right, guys, I got to a point where I think I could walk across right here. 
I see something up there that I kind of missed. You can't really see it from up high. Um, it's like an optical illusion. Part of the hillside hides this object. I don't know what it is, but to me it looks like a box car or some type of back of a truck or something. I don't know. Maybe a cabinet even. Kind of just looking over my body real quick you know if you you're in a tick infested area you're going to want to know about it all right guys um we're not going to hike up high that's like part of a refrigerator that i was talking about earlier up there There is some type of vehicle or something over here. It's gonna be hell getting out of here, but whatever. Whoa. Here's our first object. Ouch. Guys, this is real slippery. <laughs> As you just seen. Ow, that hurt. Landed on my wrist. Here's some type of piece of car. I don't know what that is. You still hear me? Yeah, I made it to the first object. I don't know what it is. It's just like a piece of a car. All right, guys, stay with me. I'm going to turn the camera off for a while so I save battery. We're going to keep going farther. All right, for those wondering, here's part of a GM carburetor. Here is a clutch plate to something here. So we're getting closer. Guys, I gotta really watch myself because I thought it was in the straightaway and I'm not in the straightaway as you could tell. I cut across to the steep part, now I'm kind of in trouble. So, kind of screwed myself, stay with me. All right guys, I'm not hot anymore, I'm burning up over here. I'm gonna keep the sweater on just for protection though from rubbing up against stuff. But as you see, we're getting closer. It's still a long ways down, but guys, it's funny. Everything looks easy from up high. When you're looking from up high, you go, oh, no problem. <laughs> guys, I caught uh, my first glimpse of this car since I've been hiking down. It's way down there, but we're going to hike like that and then cut back because right here, I just keep falling backwards and landing on my but guys one thing i'm happy about is this car looks really old and that's what i want i want old cars i don't want modern cars i just like finding old american cars you know or you know imported cars just old classics 30s 40s 50s 60s here is some type of car part right here, actually. I don't know what... 
what that is, but it's either part of the roof or I'm not really sure. When you get closer, I'll turn the camera back on. I think I could get through here. Guys, and when we approach this car, we're looking for bees, remember. Wow, this car is really old. Guys, I'm just gonna stay here in silence so I could see if I see anything flying. has rear leaf springs, huge leaf springs. What the heck guys? Oh my God. There's two cars. Guys, for a second there, I thought that was a split window bug. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> what is this? That's crazy. Remember guys, let's stand back for a minute. Wow. See, this is what I want to find guys. Old classics like this. Guys, these things been down here forever. Wow. I don't see no beehives or nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six. This thing has an inline eight motor, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An inline eight motor. What the heck? <clears throat> guys, and these two cars collided. Look at this. It, well, I'm sure one was already down here, but it pretty much just rolled on top of the other one. I don't know what this other one is, but I'm guessing this other one is a Chrysler, Chevy, or a Ford of some type. Looks like people have been taking parts over the years. These things have probably been out here since the 50s and 60s. Maybe even the 70s, but I doubt it. Probably 50s, 60s. Hey, we got two really old cars down here, man. One has an inline eight engine. Oh, uh, that's true. How, how far down is that from the top of the hill? Way down here. Really? So you're more than halfway down the hill? I'm almost to the bottom. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of cars down there we couldn't see from up here. Yeah, I'm gonna clear this brush out, guys, so you can see this body. All right, there you go. Better view. Unbelievable. All right, guys, I'm going to walk around this car. We're going to go to the front of the other one to try to figure that one out. But this one, I don't know. But I do know some of my YouTube followers are going to know. Wow, what a cool little car. I think it's huge. All right, let's go to this other car. Let me put my glove on. All right, guys, do your magic. What do you think? 
I'll try to clear out some brush. Guys, look at the impact of this rock. I'm not sure if that's from the rock, but look at this rock sitting here. And look how it almost ripped through the firewall of this vehicle. And it looks like it's the same size. This rock came down maybe 100 miles an hour. Boom! And pounded that whole firewall in. Let me go look at it from this way. Guys, I'm going to clear some brush away and I'll turn the camera back on. Guys, look at this front headlight. Is this like a Chevy? An old Chevy? Let's try to get a closer look here. Guys, is this like a 56 Chevy Bel Air? Like, what is this? I don't know. We need the public's help on this one. All right, guys, I'm going to go back around. We're going to look at one more time, take some pictures, and try to find that other vehicle. I believe it's over there somewhere. Stay with me. All right, guys, we're just filming the back of this. Breaker, breaker, reverse rocket, you there? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I just want to make sure we still have contact. Yeah, I'm going to look at this other car, and I'll come back up. Guys, so what we're doing is we drove out here. We left my house at four in the morning. We have it planned. We cannot get stuck out here in Los Angeles traffic. We'll be stuck out here for five hours. So we have a window of four hours to film. We've probably eaten up about two hours so far. Uh, well, it's already eight. We have to leave before 11. <coughs> uh, stay with me, let's go find this other car. Guys, look at this old Dr. Pepper bottle. That's crazy. Guys, there's bottles out here laying everywhere. Look at this. I don't know what type of bottle this is. But kind of a unique look, huh? It says uh, 29... 34-A. Hmm. Let's keep rolling. Guys, I don't know if we're coming upon a refrigerator, an old safe. What in the heck is this? Look at that. Guys, I landed on I landed on my side up there earlier. And it really hurt. <laughs> what is this thing? <clears throat> that thing is steel, guys. That thing ain't moving. What in the world is it? Oh yeah, it actually moves. I thought it was an old safe. Let's flip it over. Guys, it's a gas tank. Look at that. Guys, this is a fossil. Look at this rock. It's crazy. It's a strange looking rock. Here's a cement mixer. 
have a little bit of everything down here. <laughs> okay, that car is way up there. We're going the wrong direction, so let's start hiking this way. Stay with me. Guys, I want to tell you my goal. Make it to the third car, climb out of here, fly a drone up and see if we missed any cars, and then drive home. That's my goal for today. If I can accomplish that, be home before lunchtime, before traffic hits, we're golden. Remember, we get caught up in this Los Angeles traffic out here going home off the 5 freeway or the 10 freeway. We are screwed. Guys, I lost sight of the other car, but here's a piece of... It's a hood. Well, how many did you find? Uh, I found two. I'm trying to hike to the third, but I lost sight of it. But I'm going in the right direction and just... It's like behind bushes or something. Some type of hood here, guys. Okay, we'll be extremely careful. Ten four. Where did that other car go? It's gone. <laughs> guys, you're not going to believe this. <clears throat> I hike up this hillside. I'm trying to find this third car. I don't see it. It like disappeared on me or something. But now that I'm up here, I see two cars down there that I missed. Well, at least one that I know of. Yeah. We were just over there. There's some cars way down there. What do I do? What do I do? All right, guys, let's try to find this hillside car, and then we're going to hike all the way back down there and try to hike out a different way. Stay with me. Guys, this is the best workout in the world right here. Cleanest air ever also. Ojai, California is a beautiful, beautiful area. For those of you that, know, that don't know where it is, it's uh, it's in Ventura County. Stay with me. I think I spot the car. I just need to hike about 30 more feet up. Guys, you got to ask yourself, do people die in these cars or is this from people racing back in the 50s and 60s and 70s up here in this canyon? Okay, what is this thing? Let's go to the other side. We don't have a lot of battery left. We're gonna have to film with my iPhone here in a minute. What in the world is this? Pinto? I don't know. Hold on guys, let me take some pictures. I'll go to the other side. Guys, this little car is on a wicked pitch. This thing is so steep right here. Oh man, this car is super crunched as well. Look at that. Wow. This thing is mangled. Let's try to go to the other side without injuring ourselves. Oh my god. This thing's so crunched. Twenty-five percent battery life, guys. And I need every drop of this battery. Man, this thing has a wicked little engine and a little six cylinder or something. Let me move this rock, hold on. It says B12 484702. I'll take a picture of that, guys. All right, guys, I'd like to add one more thing to the list that I forgot is my spare GoPro battery, which I forget all the time. Remember, 
going on excursions like this, you're going to forget something. Always. I watch people's video on YouTube and they say the same thing. Hey, I forgot this. I forgot that. I make notes, but sometimes I forget to check them. Stay with me, guys. I'm not going to turn this camera back on unless I find something just wild. But we're going to hike about a football field's length down. And then once we get to that point, we're going to try to hike all the way back up that mountain. Stay with me. Guys, so there's rattlesnakes out here, but it's so cold this morning and it's beginning of a new season. So they're just not out yet that I know of. So I'm just letting you guys know, I'm walking through this knee high brush. Oh my God, that car's way down there. Guys, there's a car. There's a car right here. Hidden over there in the brush right there maybe we'll film it on the way out let's go this way let's keep rolling this is like a change of scenery for me guys like seeing this type of scenery is just beautiful i've never been in this area hiking before just in that last video and these rocks and stuff are just unbelievable I see two cars. Let me save some battery, guys. Stay with me. All right, guys, 17%. Let's try to do this. What in the heck is this thing? I have no idea. Okay, that's the front that's the cab so this is some type of a truck that's demolished holy cow wow this thing is just torn apart Guys, people could have been coming out here, like I said earlier, so long ago and stripping these. Guys, you gotta be careful when you step. Look, I just was stepping here. This drops about two feet right here, and then right here about four feet. So you gotta put your head down every footstep. Guys, we're just gonna bypass that. Reason is there's one more car down there. I need to shoot up this hillside with 17%. Stay with me. Guys, I'm looking at this hillside like, I ain't hiking out of there, I'm hiking out this way. That is so steep right there. Okay, now what is this? It's another really old classic car, look. Let me take a picture guys, stay with me. Guys, I think we're standing on top of a car or part of a car. This is like part of a firewall or something. I don't know. <laughs> this is bypass it and go to this complete car. Stay with me. <clears throat> it is so hard to get to this car. It's driving me crazy. I want to be on the other side. Stay with me. Guys, should I go over there? It is like a jungle. We made it this far. We can't say no. We got to see what this thing is. Anybody tell what this is from here? Because this is about as close as I'm getting. I don't 
now. This tree is driving me crazy. This car is so gone. I don't know. All right, guys. Let's attempt to hike out of here. Let's see if we could do it. I'm not sure which way to go, left or right. Should we go the way we came? Probably. Let's go. Stay with me. Let me turn this camera off. We are at about 5%. Sorry, guys. We're at 10%. I'm going to take a huge drink of water and try to get out of here the best way that I can. I had a really fun time. It's 8.35. I'm praying I can get back to the car around 9, 9.20. Get the drone in the air and drive home. Stay with me. Guys, I just came up through here, through this, through here. I'm trying to find that other car. It's right here. And I don't know if we'll be able to identify it. It's just so buried. Let me get to a different spot. It's extremely old. Wow. Look at that back window molding right there. Right here. There was a emblem right there. Somebody took it off or it fell off. Man, this car's been back in here forever. Let's get to the front. What's that you're looking at? I can see you now. <laughs> car I have no idea what it is we're just gonna leave it at that guys it's a complete car though so how many did we find five or six I lost count let's get the heck out of here we're gonna put the drone in the air and see what we could see over and out, guys. Guys, you're not gonna believe it, look. Haven't found one in a long, long time. A center cap. <clears throat> Filled with dirt, let's see what it is. Oldsmobile. That's cool. This is coming home with me. Yep, this is coming home with me, guys. I'll wash it up. And we're going to make a wall and start hanging these all on the wall. That is so cool. Stay with me. We're at 7%. Guys, I'm taking this way up. I see a lot of greenery. And it looks soft. So I'll let you know the outcome of it. Guys, the last video I filmed out here, the next day, I was so sore. Like, I couldn't even touch my thighs. Like, I'll touch them, it sting. That's how gnarly it was. But I'm sliding down as I'm trying to hike out, but I'm doing a good job. Look how far we got. The car is way down there. Let's keep rolling. Guys, look at this. This is a tick. Remember, I'm sprayed with permethrin. This is a tick. Let me get my iPhone so I can show you guys. All right, guys, look. I'm sprayed with permethrin. So this thing should be getting like disoriented and falling off, but Believe me, I'm gonna make it fall off right now, but just to prove it, guys, you guys say I complain too much about ticks and snakes. They're out here. Look, it's acting strange. See him? He's acting, kind of walking weird. It's possibly from the permethrin, guys, because that stuff 
Suppose he's like a thousand times more potent to ticks than humans. That is a tick. Look, it just fell over on its back. It might, that might be from the pomethrin, guys. So, I better check myself really good when I keep going up right now. Stay with me. Guys, whose idea was it to not throw a rope down? I'm gonna fire that guy. Oh my God. Stay with me, we have 2% left. Guys, I gotta get out of here, look. I am I have ticks crawling all over me. There's two, look. That one has white stuff all over it. Those might be eggs. I am getting out of here, guys. Three ticks. Imagine the ones I can't see behind me or the back of my shirt or something. Usually they're about waist high and never higher. If you have brush rub against you for climbing upwards, then maybe you'll get some on you. But usually though they're not in the trees, they're it's 905. And this is thick brush all through there. I need to somehow stop rubbing against this stuff right here. This is where I'm getting it, is this little brush area. Stay with me, guys. Guys, I gotta get out of here. Ticks everywhere. Whose idea was this again? Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Guys, my legs are like jello. My pants are falling down. We made it. Guys, I got spare clothes in the car. I'm going to go strip and put all my clothes I arrived in. Guys, so to give you an idea, they come around this bend and fly off before guardrails. Stay, stay with me, guys. Uh, so that antique. Uh, anti tech tick spray works pretty good. I mean, it was working on my arm, on my leg. I think they just got on there. Because the minute I seen them, I, I started filming. They didn't have time to react to the stuff. But so, we're going to put the drone in the air. All right, so there's a lot of ticks in these parts. I just figured that out. <laughs>